Yes, I did grow up in Australia. I'm from Australia. I love that place. Shout out to Australia. Before the kid Leroy would be teaming up with Lyrical Lemonade, Lil Tecca, and drop his track titled Addison Ray. And before the kid would clock in over 350,000 followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. I'm really like this is a big this is a big vision, but I'm really trying to do what Drake did for Toronto and for Canada and put the whole whole city on the map. Like literally it sounds like corny as hell, but like the truth, like you know what I mean? Before the kid Leroy would sign a record deal with Grade A Productions and Columbia Records in 2019. I got a call and it was from Lil Bibby and G Money and they said, hey, uh, we want to sign you to Grade A. Um, we're going to fly you out to New York. We're going to get everything locked in and loaded. I was like, okay. And that was my first uh, big check that I had earned. Before the kid Leroy opened up for recently deceased rapper Juice World when his world tour hit Australia. My goal is to put Australia on the map and, and showcase its music culture to the rest of the world. You know, I'm 15, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm in the studio working with some of my favorite artists. If there's one reframe being posted everywhere on the internet right now, I mean, besides the fact that these are the end of days, and thanks for that, Sylvia Brown, she actually predicted this whole thing back in 2008. Now, it's pretty hard to imagine a future where the kid Leroy isn't a very, very big deal. In fact, I'd argue that we're already living in that future timeline. Now, the young South Sydney hip hop sensation has been making waves in musical circles since he dropped Blessings early last year. Now, since that debut, he's racked up a loyal following on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube. Now, he's been working with the boys at Lyrical Lemonade, collaborating with Lil Tecca, and making songs about TikTok superstar Addison Rae. Now, all of this success has placed him at the very forefront of Australia's evolving hip hop scene. Now, in short, the kid is making all the right moves and he's blowing up. I mean, the dude is only 16 years old. With that said, I thought it was worth getting in on the ground floor with this talented youngster as we take a look at just how he found his success. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden back at it with another episode of Before They Were Famous. And this one has been a constant demand from you guys for a couple of weeks now. And uh, the entire world seems to be shutting down, but I'm still here bringing you guys new videos each and every day. As always, be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below. How about a video on Addison Rae? Makes sense as a, you know, like a, what we would do next. Probably good for the algorithm as well. Anyway, let's get into this video. The kid Leroy was born Charlton Howard on August 16, 2003 in Sydney, Australia. At the age of two, he moved to Kings Cross area. And then at the age of seven, he moved to a little country town called Broken Hill. And then when he was 11, he moved to Redfern, the place he's most associated with now. At my young age, I had like a different rap name back then. I was like, yo, I'm MC6, I'm spitting rhymes on the beat. Don't try and play this player cause I'm fresh out the streets. <laughs> That's how I used to rap when I was like seven. Oh God, that's too much. Now he owns his musical heritage to his mom who would always play good music for him when he was younger. We're talking like Erica Badu, Tupac, Fuji's, and Kanye. Now based on his Instagram profile, I'm sure he also enjoyed some Nirvana as well. The kid cites Kanye's 808 and heartbreaks for changing his entire outlook on music, which is a similar sentiment shared by Juice World, who cites 808 as his favorite album of all time. Now, after hearing that album, well, the kid, he fell in love with autotune and he discovered that creating his own music was a way to express himself. It also helped him deal with a lot of the anger he was working through at the time. In fact, he stated, People think I don't know anything because I'm young, but who's to say what 15 feels like? I feel everything 10 times more. It's like, shut the f up, I just want to be me. When asked about his writing process to Kid Leroy, he revealed to Pillarats.com. So I go over to my mate's place and I say, hey bro, got a sick beat I can rap to? And he says, yeah, I'll cook something up right now. So then he does it, and once I feel something, I start to type some real feelings on my phone. Then I say it into a microphone and my mate records it. We upload it to social media and the rest of the internet to see if world up fizzes with it. Uck fizzes. That, I got an urban dictionary that. I think it's with, no, of course it is. Never mind. let's move on. Like 
Most kids in his age group will Leroy, he's more concerned with living IRL than vicariously through technology and his music reflects that. Now he uses his sound as a vehicle to understand himself and the world around him. In fact, his talent is giving heavyweights in the industry a run for their money with his brand of clever lyrics and melodic raps that sees him switching from polyrhythmic bars to catchy choruses all in the space of a few beats. One thing that I always preach and I always tell people around me or even kids that's younger than me is to manifest everything uh, and speak into existence. After becoming a finalist for the Triple J Unearthed High, an Australian musical discovery competition for talented high schoolers, well, Leroy, he found himself performing in front of 20,000 people at the Triple J One Night Stand. Now, since then, his life has gone through a series of drastic changes. He told a claim. A 2018 regular day is a lot different to what a 2016, 2017 regular day would have been. After school, I'm heading to the studio, getting some work done, having meetings. Then on the weekend, it's meetings in the studio. I'm literally so busy nowadays. He's got a clear vision to his work and it's all backed by the unmistakable belief that the youth is defined by spirit. Now his confidence and energy enables him to not only accept success, but to manifest it into existence. A belief that he extrapolates on in the following statement. I always knew that music was gonna happen for me. I just didn't know exactly how it was gonna happen or how soon. I always manifested this in my head. It's mad weird. I trip myself out thinking about it. I'll have a vision. I'll keep thinking about it. I work towards it and then it happens. Now the kid Leroy, he's following in the footsteps of his other idols like J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar and Childish Gambino. Now like them, he doesn't need expensive jewelry and clothes to prove that he's important. To him, it's all about presence and achievement, proving himself through his work, not simply his ascent up the social ladder. I'm not about to wear a whole bunch of jewelry just to flex. There is a difference between treating yourself and doing it just because you think everyone is going to approve of you looking like that. When I step into a room, I want people to know that I know who I am. I definitely want to stay humble. He wants some chicken tenders, man. That's $40. Yeah, man. Hey, man, <laughs> hey, man I, I feel sorry for you and Libby, man. You don't want to pay for this shit. <laughs> 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 now I feel like at this point I should reiterate the fact that this dude he's only 16 years old at the present. I mean I've been making these videos for well almost as long as this kid's been alive. And I can tell you that very few artists in general no matter the age ever get to a point where they have an epiphany like that. So this kid's something special. And it's this wise beyond his year style of living that's gotten him co-signs from the likes of Denzel Curry, Lyrical Lemonade, and Rolling Loud. Not to mention jumping on stage with Manu Crooks, TK Maidza, and his former mentor Juice World. Oh my God. You see what happened to artists? They come to grade A. Or spending time in the studio with Black, Lil Skies, and hip hop producer Miracle. He said about his blossoming career, I think that I'm learning every single day in terms of finding my voice. I think I know the story I want to tell, the things that I want to make active in my music. I'm growing as a person. I'm learning as a person. I don't think a lot of people find their voice until they're 20, 25. It's sad because some people don't ever find their voice. Well, in 2018, the kid Leroy, he landed with a fully formed voice. He released the EP 14 with a dream and then he put out single after single in 2019, including In My Feelings, Blessings and Winning. From there, the kid Leroy, he signed with Sony and he dropped his first track with them entitled Let Her Go. He recently uploaded the track Diva with Lil Tecca and is considering all manner of different avenues to pursue for his life and career. I want to do high-end fashion, my own line, exclusive pieces. I want to get into acting. I want to get into production and I want to invest in houses. When I get money, I want to use it wisely. All that money doesn't last forever. No, it does not. Especially when you're only 16. I mean, what the heck were you all guys doing at 16? I know what I was doing. I was staring at a poster of Colin Farrell on my wall, just saying, one day it'll be me. <laughs> just to be clear, I'm referring to the acting career, not his substance abuse, just for the record. Although that photo isn't really helping my argument. Anyway, whatever the case, the one thing that I sure as hell wasn't doing was making music as sick and real as the kid Leroy. He stated, it does bring you more attention when you're young and you're doing things that grown people do, but people underestimate you. They put it down to you being a kid because things were different in their generation. Older people weren't thinking about the things we think about now. We have the fucking internet now, so everyone is exposed. Everyone has a grown mind. I'm trying to make music that will last forever, not just for this wave. I'm always growing as a person and my music reflects that. 
And you know what? He's exactly right. It's a remarkable feat for anyone to accomplish, let alone a young man at the age of only 16. I'm really impressed making this video, obviously. Now even more impressive is his understanding that the problem isn't blowing up, it's what you do after going viral. Now every artist in that situation needs a good follow through as to not fade away. And with all the attributes of a tireless professional, well this kid, he's got nothing to worry about on that front. Now the bottom line for the kid Leroy, well buy stocks now and thank me later. Because bro, baby Obama fucked me the fuck up bro. This shit is so bad. No one sees shit. I'm gonna wear a cap. In the next photo you guys see, I'm gonna be wearing a cap. And, and if I don't wear a cap, you're not gonna see the close up of the hair. That's for sure. It's gonna be a cap or a hoodie or something. And for God's sakes, could we please get my man a half decent barber? I mean, my man deserves it. All right, guys, I'm wrapping up this video here. Now, the information, it was a little small, so we tried to pull this together the best we could. We reached out to the kid Leroy and his folks over at Sony, so we're hoping to hear back from them. Maybe we'll hit you with an updated video because we tend to do that around here, and then we'll go into uh, more depth, more detail. As for the rest of the story, well, I think we're just going to wrap this one up here because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCray. We make all sorts of celebrity bios here on this channel. You already know that. But if you haven't subscribed, now's your chance. Get her done. You can also text me. I've set up a new number. The link is down below where the numbers are. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!